Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding Generator for Tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about database configuration by using .env file. We know that we can configure database in two ways. One is by using database.php, one is by using .env file. In the previous session, we discussed database configuration by using .database.php. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about .env file. This env file is available in your project root folder and open the file and rename it as .env otherwise that is not going to be work. So we can available the file as env only we have to rename it as .env. So after that we are going to see the following settings here so database default username default password and all so in the env file. Let me open the file and let me show you the same settings guys here. So this is your .env file just open the file. You can find a group with the database related settings. Yeah, can you see this is database related? So these are commented, right? Every line is going to be commented with hash. Let us remove the hash and for everyone. So this group is enough, not required all the settings based on your database connectivity. These are the, some basic settings are there. So localhost CI4 root and password is empty, right? Let us make empty. Don't give even space also. That's it, just empty. That's enough, guys. And immediately we have to rename the file. I'm going to select this F2 and I'm just making it as a dot. Now you can hit enter. File is going to be renamed. Can you see? The file is now .env file. Now go to your controller and what is the group name? This is my database group name, right? Just to copy the database group name. And we don't need to copy. By default, it is going to be load the default database only. If you are not passing anything to it, it is going to be loaded. But in my database.php, I removed all these guys. Earlier, we configured, right? Database and password and database username and we configured. I removed them. So there is no relationship with my controller and this database.php file. Now, in my controller, I am loading the database. Can you see DB1 is going to be load the database guys here and we are executing a query. Now, can you see if you can go and execute this, definitely you will get the data. I'm just refreshing. This is earlier output, I think. So we don't have any error, right? We are getting the data from database. But just observe this in database.php, we don't have any database configuration settings. Just it was empty default array. Now the settings are available. Otherwise, you can make them comment here. Just let me make them into comment. So I'm making them comment and just execute it. Will you get the data? Now I'm not going to get the data. I'm getting empty array. We are not able to get anything. You connected to DB because database is available, but you are not getting data, guys. So this is how we can connect to database in two ways by using database.php by using .env file, guys. Thank you, guys. If you have any doubts, please comment under the video section.